son. Why? Why does your boss daughter want to see me? Eh? Why did she invite me? Uh, I, I don't know. I can't really tell. This whole thing started when we were discussing. So she asked me if I have a girlfriend. I said yes. Not just girlfriend, I have a fiance. Mm -hmm. And she asked me what you're doing for a living. I told her that you're still searching for a job. Yes. She said, okay, can you invite her over? Yeah. I want to see her. I hey. said, okay. So, Babe, hmm? what if she wants to employ me in this company? And no, I don't think that would be possible. Mm. Like, like, because there's nothing you can do in this company. You know what I'm talking about. You and I know that you cannot be able to do any kind of job given to you in this company. I'm sorry sounding that way, but you know that's the truth. Hmm? I'm sorry. Oh, she's here. Good day, Mark. Hi, Lydia. Oh. Uh, my baby, because he, he has told me so much about you. Yes, ma'am. I'm so happy to meet you. And this is supposed to be your what again? My fiancé. Oh, fiancé. This. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't understand. Why is she looking at me like that? I I think she's in a bad mood. She's not just like that, okay? Like she, she's not just in a good mood. Wait, wait, open. Did she ask you to invite me so she can insult me? No, no. But don't worry yourself, okay? I'm going to sort it out. Yes, I'll, I'll sort it out, okay? Hmm. Hmm. Please, cheer up. I love it. <laughs> wow. Guess what? What? It's better from the inside. So this is my house. <laughs> of course. Okay. Come on in. Oh, Mr. Linda, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I don't even know that I will ever ever in my life be in this position. I just want to say thank you because... It's okay. Come on, it's nothing. Oh, God. <laughs> well, um, I'm very excited that you're happy. Yes, I'm happy. I am very happy, yes. Obviously. <laughs> Good. Okay. <clears throat> I I would love to ask you some questions, if you oh, don't mind. Okay, okay, go ahead. Go ahead, I'm listening. Ask me anything. Anything you want me to do, I will do. All this I have done for you. Okay. What will you do for me? That's the question. 
Go ahead and ask me of anything and I'll do it for you. Anything. You know, I I once asked you this once upon a time and you gave the exact response. That simply means you are a man of integrity. Yes, I am. And you're very responsible. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> ask me of anything. Okay, so <clears throat> I'll just go straight to the point. Okay. Ever since I returned from the UK, <clears throat> I met you and I fell in love with you. For me, it was love at first sight. Oh, yes. I... I'm wondering if we could, you know, come together in partnership. By that, I mean, you know, collaborate in marriage as lovers. Yeah. Spend the rest of our lives together. Oh. <laughs> oh. Mm. Uh, Miss Linda? What you've just asked, I I don't think it's going to be possible because I have someone in my life. I have someone already, which I told you. So what you ask of me, it's not going to be possible. Someone, a low life, a girl who has nothing to offer. I mean, absolutely nothing. No. She offered me a lot. She offered me education. She offered me everything. <laughs> she did everything for me. Education. She's the reason I'm here today. All that is not enough. We are talking about the future. Your future. I am here to offer you everything. I mean, your whole life ahead of you. She is your past. I want to be your today and tomorrow. Miss Linda, come on. She's not my past. She's, she's someone in my life. She's the reason I am here today. This person dropped out of school because of me. She couldn't graduate because of me. She offered me a lot. She sacrificed a lot for me to be here today. She's the reason I'm... Enough. I'm what I am Enough. today. Enough. So, it. in other words, you do not mind losing everything? What? Oh, yes. Yes, you heard me. I mean, you cannot eat your cake and have it. You're welcome. How was work? Hmm? Fine. Fine. Robin, what is it? You don't look happy. Talk to me. What is wrong? 
I had a very bad day today. Bad day? Maybe what happened? Did anything happen at the office? Let me go inside first and rest my head. Oh, fine. Obim! You got inside. Obim! What's wrong? He doesn't behave like this. Something is definitely wrong. I'll find out. Baby, what is going on? Since you came back from work, you've been in this mood. Eh? What exactly is going on? You know you can talk to me and then we can solve the problem. Or oh, did I do something wrong to you that you don't want to tell me? Nothing is wrong. I'm, I'm fine. Something is wrong. No, you're not fine. You're not fine. Baby, talk to me. What's the matter? You're not even eating your food. What is it? Can you home? Let me talk to me now. Hey? Hey? Baby. Obim, why is it that you don't want to tell me what is bothering you? You've been in this mood since you came back from work. Eh? What is it? See, I am no longer finding this funny. Do you want to kill me? Oh, my love, please. Please don't talk like that, please. Then tell me, what is it? What is the problem? <sighs> okay, the fact is that there's this money issue in my office. Okay, and the whole thing is on my head, and I don't know what to do. Money? Yes. Obim, oh, did you eat your company's money? Ah, come on. You know I cannot do a thing like that. Hmm. The truth is that there's this client I did business with, what millions of Naira, and this particular person has relocated to America. Without paying back the money to the company. The company is really on me to, to get the money back to them. Jesus. I don't know what to do. I don't just know what to do. Hey, Obim. Why would you make such a mistake? Where do we get that kind of money from? Huh? Hey. I, don't, I don't just know. That's why I'm so worried. I don't even know what to do now. This is really serious. This is really, really serious. God. God, please have mercy on me also. She wants mercy. Hey. Obim. Why don't you lie down and sleep? Hmm? Tomorrow morning we'll think of something. Oh, my love, how do you expect me to sleep? I can't even think of sleeping. I can't just sleep. <laughs> Linda, are you okay? So you asked your father to promote Gozier and give him huge benefits just because you want to ask him to marry you when you know he already has a woman in his life. If someone does that to you, would you like it? Mom, mom, come on. That girl in question is, she's just a low life. She doesn't deserve him. How is that your business? Do you know how and when they met? Do you know when they are what they have been through? I mean, it doesn't really matter. What does it matter? For crying out loud, this man in question happens to work in my father's company. So I have every right to decide for him. Yes. You have every right to decide for him. I do. So with all your intelligence, education, and the training we gave you, 
You stoop low to contest a man with a woman. Mom, contest? Are you serious? There isn't any contest here. I mean, what's there to contest? Who's this girl in question? I mean, what's her background? I, mean, I don't even see anyone. There's no competition. Mom, stop making it sound like I'm in a fight over a man with a girl. I mean, there's no girl. I see no one. This is just about me and the man in question. Please. <laughs> Besides, he doesn't even have a choice. He doesn't. He works for my father. Moreover, <laughs> Gozi is very smart. I know he, he stands to lose everything if he goes against my decision and will, so. <laughs> I know he won't do that. He will do the right thing, which is listening to me. What else? Now listen to me, young lady. Leave Gossier and his fiancé alone. Go get your own man. Uh, oh, okay, okay. What of the man you told us about, uh, Johnson? Oh, that. Well, I came into this country and love happened. I'm over it. I'm over it. <clears throat> Linda, my daughter, yes. I don't see your happiness in all this. I am beginning to see reason in what your mother is saying. Daddy, please. Keep quiet. Your father is still talking. Well, I've heard you. Both of you should go to bed. Let me relax and think. Goodness, Mom, you're being too dramatic. I mean, why? You go on and on as though there's a fight here. The reason, he's not married, is he? The wearing, this is not me taking another woman's man. Goodness. He wasn't even her I man in the phone. Oh Get goodness. off my face! Mommy, good night. Good night. Get off my face! Oh, oh this is happening every day. I mean, everywhere. I'm not the first. And I, I'm not going to be the last. Can you imagine? How, how is he even her man? How? how? You're only disgracing yourself. Chief, you better take talk sense into your daughter. Else, she will end up crying. And nobody should call me when that time comes. Oh. Gozia. Yes, Chief. I called you here to discuss an issue that concerns my daughter. My daughter told me what has been going on between you and her. You see, Linda here is my only daughter. And I support whatever that will make her happy. In fact, her happiness is so important to me. Well, let me go straight to the point. What do you have to say over her request of you getting married to her? Chief, to be frank with you, what your daughter is asking of me cannot be possible. I cannot do it. I have a woman in my life. And we're planning to get married. Sir, this girl suffered a lot for me. Because of me, this girl dropped out of school. She used the money her parents were giving to her to train me. She dropped out of school because of me. Sir, please, I cannot do what your daughter is asking of me to do. I cannot, I cannot go into a relationship with your daughter. I have someone. Please, sir, talk to your daughter for me to change the request. Just tell me any other thing and I'll do it for you. I, I, but this one, I, I cannot. Well, I sympathize with the girl in question. But I cannot ruin my daughter's happiness over a street girl. She goes in. All depends on you. Accept my daughter's request and have everything. Even to the level of sponsoring your coronation, no matter the cost. And reject her request and lose everything. I mean, your job, your car, your house, everything. Sir, please, try and understand me. Understand what exactly? What is your problem? 
Why are you making this look so difficult? I mean, this is just you marrying me. I have given you practically everything. I mean, everything in life, in future, everything. What more can you ask for? And then you want to choose that low life? That girl from the goddess, the girl who has nothing to offer you. Mm. A riffraff. Mm. What is all this? I, I, am, I, am, I, am I so ugly? Am I incapacitated? Am I handicapped? What is your problem? Why can't you just do this whiny, tiny little favor? Don't I mean, what is this? So for me. She Are you so okay? For me. Please, please. She goes there. You have 24 hours to give me your reply or lose everything. You know me, your daughter. You can now leave my office. They know my What are you saying? Yeah? Gozia? Yeah. Hey. A woman was giving you this much. One whiny tiny mm. little thing you cannot even give. You cannot. One whiny tiny little mm. request I've ever asked. This is the only thing I've what asked you all you my life since I knew you. Daddy. 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 Did you see that? You are causing me problems. Why did you do that? God, this Linda's request is hard on me. But come to think of it, how can I just wake up one morning and lose everything after suffering all these years? My work, which I know how I suffer to get. The car, the expensive house. That means I have to start afresh. They even promised to sponsor my coronation. What do I do? back yet. Maybe he has lots of work to do in the office. I was just making something really nice because I'm sure he must be hungry when he gets back. I'm making something delicious. Is he not back from work yet? He has never come home late. I just hope there's no problem. Maybe there's traffic on the road. his calls. Even if he's still busy at the office or there's traffic on the road, he should let me know now. He should pick his calls. God, please let nothing happen to him. 
Let him be safe. Let him be safe. Hey! Switched off! God, what is all this? His phone is switched off. I hope nothing has happened to him. Oh, I hope nothing has happened to him. Cosy, please leave whatever you're doing. Leave whatever you're doing and come back home. Come back to me, please. Please bring him home safe. Don't let anything happen to him. 11 p.m. It's so late. It's so late. God. God, what is this? What is all this? Would you please come back home? Just come home to me. Come home to me. Just come home to me, please. I'm still switched off. Good day. Good day. You're welcome. Please, what can I do for you? I want to see Gozi, the general manager. So who are you? I'm Neka. Neka. Oh, sorry. He's very busy. Besides, our chairman's daughter is not allowed to allow you to come inside this company again. Why? Why would she give such an instruction? I don't know. I already revived. Then we'll move. So, excuse me. Hello? Nigga, how are you? Where are you at? Oh, you're at the gate? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'm coming, just hold on. Hello? What do you mean you're coming? Hello? Hello? And what are you doing here? You never listen, right? What are you doing here? Now get out of that place. You won't like me if I come out. You won't like me. No, no, stop it! Get out of, 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 of that place now! I'm talking to you! What nonsense! What's the meaning of this? You don't have to talk to her that way. You have to do that. So you do not have the guts to summon the courage and tell her it's over? How long are you going to continue like this? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? What are your intentions and plans? What do you want to do? How long do you want to keep up with this? It's over and it's over! You let her know! You know what? what? Since you do not have the courage and balls to tell her, I'm going to do the dirty work. Please, Linda. Yes? Do not do that. I shouldn't do that. That poor girl don't serve it. Please. Oh. She doesn't deserve it. The poor girl doesn't deserve it. She doesn't. But I, the rich girl, I deserve it, right? Enough of this rubbish between you and that low life. Do you understand? Belinda, what is your problem? What is your problem? I have not actually done any marital right on your head yet. So, I am not your husband yet. You lie. You are my husband. Yes. As long as we live together, in the same house, sleep on the same bed, make love together. We are man and wife. The sooner you adjust, the better for you. Can you just stop? Can you just stop this madness, please? You know what? Enough of this bullshit. Stop me if you can. Okay, please, can you go and call him for me? Tell him that Neka wants to see him. I'm sorry, I cannot. Or do you want to sack him for my work? Um, please, I beg you, eh? Just help me call him now. Tell him that if you tell him that I'm here, he will come and see me. Please, I'm begging you. Do you want to sack him for my work? No, oh, they will not sack him. I will advise you to move now. Don't put him in. Just tell him that Neka did. Excuse I told you. me, what the you hell is going on here? 
Didn't you receive the message I sent? Didn't you tell her? I told you. And what are you what are you still doing here? No, I don't understand. Why are you stopping me from seeing my fiance? What have I done to you? I could not sleep yesterday because he didn't come home. I thought something bad had happened to him. And now I'm here to see him and you don't want me to see him. Why? Oh, fine. As you can see, he is doing okay. <laughs> That's if you're not blind. He's fine. All right? You do not need to come here looking for him. He's okay. He's fine. You take care of yourself. All right? Hey, hey, hey. Listen and listen very good. The next time she shows up here again and you let her in, I am going to make sure you lose your job. I'm sorry, ma'am. Do I make myself clear? Yes, ma'am. Listen and listen very good. Okay, this is the last time I'm going to go through this with you. All right? Do not show up here again, ever. All right? Do not, because I am going to show you the other side of me. As it is now, I'm trying so hard to still maintain beauty. All right? Do not piss me off. Now you run along. Okay? And just so you know, that so called fiancé of yours that you are looking for hmm, now belongs to someone else. All right? I am taking very good care of him. So you do not need to worry. You take care of yourself. Now, get out. Hello? You're deaf as well? Get out. Gauzier! Where the hell is this girl from? Gauzier! This is not a marketplace! It is a Gauzier, market. it's me, Nick! Yeah. Who is this? Are yes, you mad or something? It's this me, Nick! Come, 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 be going. Gauzier! Be going, be going, be going. Why are you making all right to me? Yeah, right? Be going, be going. Welcome back again. Gauzier! I'm sorry. After everything I've done for him, after all my sacrifices to him, he went ahead to block my number. Hmm. Hmm. God, you're watching. God, you're watching. Okay. <laughs> He'll come back to this house. He'll come back. I don't understand you and the neck anymore. Since neck I went to the city to look for a job, I've not heard from her. I don't know what is going on. What is going on? Oh, wait a minute. Is it that the neck I've gotten a job and both of you don't want to tell me? 
Because women have a way of uh, cornering things. Nay, I don't know. I'm also confused here. The last time I heard from Neka was two weeks ago. And she did not tell me if she has gotten a job or not. Eh? If I may ask, where is she staying in the city? And she said she's staying with one of her friends, her schoolmate. I want to talk some sense into Neka now. I warn her that to whom much is given, much is expected. Call her. Okay, man. Nay, she did not pick the call. I hope all is well with her. The phone was ringing? Yes, sir. Try it again. Maybe she's not with the phone. Try it again. Nay, she did not pick again. I hope my daughter is okay. She, she must be okay. If she don't want to be okay, she has to be okay. Forget about it for now. We'll, we'll, we'll call her later. I will not take this rubbish. What nonsense is this? We'll call her later again. And who are you and um, what are you doing here? How did you find your way into this place? Kosi. Kosi, what are you doing with this lady? Kosi, I've been calling you. You're not picking your calls. I can't, I can't reach you. You even blocked my number, Kosi. Kosi, what, what's wrong? Kosi, is this, is this really who you are? After everything that I have done, after all that I have suffered, Kosi, what did I ever do to deserve this? Kosi, talk to me. Did I do anything wrong? I mean, did I wrong you in any way? Kosi, talk to me. Say something. Kosi, remember because of you, because of you, I dropped out of school. I used the money my parents were giving to me. I used it to sponsor your education, Kosi. Because you remember the promise we made to each other. We said we were going to stay together for the rest of our lives. Because what happened? Where did I go wrong? What happened to those promises, Kosi? Neka. <laughs> just calm down, okay? Let me explain to you. That won't be necessary. I can handle this. Young lady. I do not know your story, alright? I do not know who you are. 
I do not know how you got into my apartment in the first place. All right, but I'm not going to go back and forth with you. This is my man. We found love and we are planning to spend the rest of our lives together. All right, so I would advise you <laughs> that rather than coming here with your exaggerated sense of entitlement, why don't you think of picking your pieces together to make something out of life? I mean, this is not the first time promises are made and broken. It isn't. There's no big deal here. Nothing is lost. You still have a whole life ahead of you. All right? So please, I do not want to have issues with you whatsoever. But I would not tolerate you coming into this place. Not into my space. Not anywhere close to my man. Not his office. Not anywhere around him. All right? So I'm just going to forgive you this one last time. But I need you to run along. Same way you came in. Just get out. Let's see. Let's see. What is she saying? What is she talking about? Tell me, tell me what she's saying is not true. Oh my god. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? I'm oh, so dear. sorry. My love. Oh. Does it mean the guy? Excuse me, I the guy, your baby. Oh my goodness. At this point you push me to what I'm gonna kick you off this place. Oh god! Oh, I love this compound. And this is the last time she's gonna show up here. All right, the next time she shows up her face in this house, I am going to make sure you lose your job. All right? Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. What was that he did out there? That wasn't fair. That wasn't right. That poor girl is in pain. She's heartbroken. That girl did a lot for me. That girl trained me, practically trained me in school. That girl dropped out because of me. She didn't graduate. She did a lot for me. You have allowed me to handle it. <laughs> you were clearly not man enough to do that. <laughs> I stepped in, I handled it like a boss, a real woman. That's exactly what I did. I mean, what's the big deal anyways? Why is everyone just going on and on about she did this, she did that? What did she do exactly? Did she give you blood? Did she give you life, oxygen, kidney? Tell me, we can return it. I mean, what's the big deal? Listen, I do not want you to keep going on like a man who's held here against his will, all right? We are grown adults. This is what we want. Okay? And if it's about all the things she sacrificed for you, well, put it together. Calculate it. I am going to pay back. I pay her off. And that's it. Everyone is happy. She wins. I win. As simple as that. Please. And you think it's as easy as you said? Baby, listen, you did nothing wrong, okay? You chose me, all right? I understand someone is hurt, but I mean, that's what life is about. Life isn't fair, all right? It's not the first time someone is making a promise and breaking it. Don't let anyone make you feel otherwise, okay? You did the right thing. Babe, come on. We're grown adults. We choose to live together the rest of our lives. Don't let anything change that. Okay?
What's the problem? Why are you crying? Nothing, I'm, I'm fine. You, you can tell me you're fine. You're crying. You don't have a place to stay. Talk to me, I could be of help. Please. What's the issue? I want to start by saying I apologize for the last time the way I spoke to you. I'm really sorry. That's not who I am. I'm obviously better than that. But it was completely not my fault. You were very stubborn. I mean, I've lost count of how many times I've asked you to leave Gozi and I alone. Because we're in love. He is meant for me. But of course, as usual, <clears throat> you chose to be stubborn. Now I'm here so we can all sit and find a way around this. Let's just say we're here today to find a way around what is between the three of us. All right? Or let's just say that we're here to pay you off. Yes, for all the troubles you've been through over the years. <laughs> and this is because I am a very kind-hearted person. And um, I understand the pain of losing. Especially when you, you feel like you've invested too much in the man. But then again, it's not every time you invest in a man and the man ends up being your husband. I mean, these things are practically happens every day, every now and then. So this is not the first time. All right. So um, out of my kindness, I 
came up with a check of 20 million naira for you. There you go. This is for your troubles over time. All right, so you take the check and please leave Gossie and I alone. I'm begging you. All right, woman to woman, just leave us alone. We're meant to be together, we're meant for each other. Okay, so you should count yourself lucky to have met someone like me. I mean, it's a privilege to have met a girl who would want to make you happy. So <clears throat> you take it and start up your life. I hope this brings you happiness. And please, and please, leave us alone. Leave Gossier and I alone. Please. So you um, enjoy the rest of your life while we enjoy the rest of our lives together. Thank you very much. Um... Ne. Um, she has actually said it all. Okay, I don't know what else to say. Please, manage this 20 million naira. It can actually go a long way for you, okay? Start up a business of your own and go back to school with it and finish up and become a graduate like me. Okay, please. Um, from the depth of my heart, I am sorry for everything, but I have no choice. Okay, I can actually pay three years rent for you more, so you cannot bother paying for house rent for like three years. Okay, yeah, so. Okay. So my queen, after everything, Gozier dumped me for his chairman's daughter because they have money. Wait, my daughter, are you telling me that you were the one that sponsored Chigezir, my son, through school? Yes, my queen. And he promised to marry you? Yes, and later dumped you. After everything. Yes, my queen. Hi. Hmm. I mean, how can Chigozi allow his weight to drop on the ground? Please. Are you are you sure of all these things you've just told me? My queen. Why will I lie to you about such a thing? Look, Gozir is your son. He's still alive. You can call him to ask him. It's okay. I'll call him and ask him. And if what you've just said is true, if it is true, anyway, let me reserve my comment for now. Please, it's okay for now, bro. Wipe your tears. You know, everything will be sorted out. Thank you so much, my friend. It's okay. It's okay. My friend, I have to go. It's okay. I will give back to you. Okay, my friend. Bro. Why are you crying? Huh? 
I want to talk to you. Yeah, you want to talk to me. What could that be that is making you cry? Is that why you're crying? I'm so bad. Yeah. Mm. I'm here. Mama. Yes. I have a confession to make. Yeah. Confession. What? Is that why you're crying? <laughs> what could that be? What is the confession all about? Yeah, yeah. Did you kill somebody? <laughs> yeah? Remove your hand. What good are you coming from? Yeah? Did you commit abortion? Then, what is it now? Why are you crying? Confess. I'm listening. Mama, I. Yes? Mama, I. I am not a graduate, Mama. <laughs> I don't understand what you mean. But you are not a graduate. Ah, you went to university <laughs> and you came out with first class. So, how come about the results <laughs> and the certificate if you are not a graduate? Well, it's, it's fake. <laughs> Everything is fake. <laughs> Neka. This must be the joke of the day. I don't understand what you're saying. Please don't joke with me with such things. Don't. I'm a Ah, I'm not joking. I'm not joking, Mama. I'm not joking. Forged. I'm not so joking. if it's forged, what about the school and the money we'll be sending to you? Yes. <laughs> I I used to, to sponsor my boyfriend. Eh? I met him at the university. <laughs> I, I sponsored him because he promised he was going to marry me and said he was going to marry me after he graduated from the university. <laughs> after everything, Mama, he, he dumped me for the the daughter of the owner of the company where he works for one. Yeah. <laughs> he dumped me. Hey, Make a more. I'm sorry. Hey. Oh, please, I'm sorry. Neka. I don't even know where to start from. I don't know what to do. Mama, I am so confused. I am so confused. Hey. Mama, please. Neka, what do you want me to tell your father? Mama, please. Eh? Mama, Papa is your husband, okay? You know how best to talk to him. You will understand. It's Mama, again. Please. How will I relate this kind of news to him, Neka? Mama, I am sorry. Hey. I am sorry. I know I don't deserve your forgiveness, Mama. Hey, Neka has finished I'm to sorry, me. Mama, oh. I'm sorry. I don't know what to do. Neka has killed me. Oh, my. Hi! I'm finished. I'm finished now. Hi! Hey. Hmm. Now, Ibiko, wait a Just calm down. Calm your nerves down. Uh, let's see how we'll handle this situation before we take a, a drastic decision that we'll regret later. Ibiko, now, oh? Oh? I'm trying very hard to understand what you're telling me. That my daughter that I sent to the university, sending her money, abandon her own education and use the money to sponsor a man, another man's son. And she even had the goals to present to me a forged certificate. Where's the nigga? Where is she? Uh, she's in her room. Nay, pay for this. Nay, of me. Hey! Hey! Nay, Biko, Biko, please. Don't kill my daughter for me, Biko, Nay. Hey, Biko, Biko.
Me, oh, because she made a mistake of which anybody can make. And she has apologized now. Eh? Uh -uh. It's just a common certificate that she forged. Uh -uh. After all, this is common in this country. Please don't kill my daughter for me. Oh. Keep, quiet. Keep quiet. Keep quiet. Keep quiet. Do you think it's written for me? I work for 40 years. Half of the money I earned from my civil service, I spent it on that girl. Do you think it's written for me? Uh, uh, I, I understand, I know. Please, just take it easy, eh? So that we don't make a mistake, eh? The mistake has been done. I'll do it. please. Uh, nah, nah. Hello? Hey! What is happening? Hey! Hey! Nayo! Nay! Hey! Nay! What is this? Hey! Nay! I think something bad has happened to Neka. Eh? Something is wrong, Nai. I can feel it. What happened? I just tried to call her now. The phone rang. She picked. And the next thing she shouted. I tried to call her again. The phone is ringing, but nobody is speaking. Eh? I think there is a problem, Nai. Hey. Nai. Let me try it again. Nai, you do something now. Eh? Hey, they are not picking. Uh, Nai, are you walking away? Hey! Chimo! Nai! Nai! Hey. Okay. Hey, Neka. Please pick, go. Pick, 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 pick. Hey! Nai, she did not pick, go. Hey! Nai! Hey! Giving her 20 million naira and she rejected it. She knows what 20 million naira can do for her. Eh? And after all, how much did she, did she spend on me? Shut up! Can you listen to yourself? Eh? When she was spending those money on you, harboring you in her house, you promised her marriage. What was on your mind? What? Because your boss daughter was showering you with money and you forgot who made you what you are. Where is your conscience, Gozi? Where? I'm asking you. Let me tell you. Your late father did go of this land and your forefathers never committed any abominable thing. 
neither did they do anything that would attract cause to this family. So I would want you to follow their footsteps. What is your problem? That innocent girl suffered for you and you dumped her because of someone I do not know. What if she commits suicide because of what you did to her? What will be the face of the innocent name of this royal family? I mean royal and respectable family. Do you want to drag the name of this family to the mud? Eh? But Mama, what, I... No, I, I don't want to hear anything from you. Better go and look for that girl wherever she is and make peace with her. That is the only option. Make peace with her. Even if it doesn't resolve both of you getting married, no problem. But let it be something you people resolved peacefully to avoid a dino in the future. That's my advice. Okay, um, Nos. Sir. So after 30 minutes, okay. you give her the injection, okay? All right, sir. Just as I've instructed. Make sure you keep your eyes on her. I will, sir. Thank God she's improving. Yes. Um, bring the fight to my office. Okay. This. Why are you investing so much time into this? Why? I went to her house, she wasn't there. I caught her phone, it was switched off. Maybe she doesn't want to see you. Why don't you just let it be? You have given this your best shot. Babe. You cannot go on and on trying to prove to the world that you are a good man. Yes, you are a good man. You're kind-hearted. But you're not going to kill yourself, are you? Babe. I understand everything that has happened between you and her and all the sacrifices she's made. You made efforts, all right? You gave her money. 20 million. <laughs> it's not a child's play. For someone who didn't even give you up to 500,000 in a haul. I mean, what's all this? We have a life to plan. Why can't we invest this time into us becoming king and queen? We have a whole coronation ahead of us. Please. You can go on like this. Please. Just let us be. I'm begging you. I mean, you're going through a lot. Look at you. Under the AC, you're sweating like this. Why? Because you let something as little as this worry you? You're better than this. Please, we are all that matters. You and I. Baby. Please don't do this to me. I need you to be happy. This is not the end of the world. No one is going to blame you. You did your best. All right? Babe, this is not the first time this is going to happen to anyone. People make promises and break them. All right? But what matters is you and I. We're both here now because we love each other. Look at me. Do you love me? 
Do you love me? So, how are you doing today? I'm getting better, doctor. Good. You said you wanted to see me. Yes, doctor. Who brought me here? I did. Actually, I saw you lying lifeless on the road, so I brought you here for treatment. Lifeless? Yes. So, tell me, what actually happened to you? It's a long story, doctor. Long story? Okay. The good news here is that you are recovering fast. Thank God for that. You just have to relax, okay? Let me get one or two. I'll still check up on you later. So, how far have you gone with the new? Did you tell him your plans? Yes, Mama. I told him my plans and uh, he was so happy about it. So we sat down and we discussed so much about it. Um, uh, he said that the coronation would take place in six market days. Okay, so I asked him to help me call on uh, the cabinet members so we can sit down and have a meeting together. Now that you have concluded on a date for your coronation as the Igwe of this kingdom, what about Nenka? Have you seen her to sort out things with her? Mama, um, actually, to be frank with you, I've not seen, seen Nenka since then. I've gone to her house. I couldn't find her. I've called her on the phone. Her phone was switched off. I've been searching for Nenka. I don't even know where to find her. So, I've tried my best. I don't know what else to do again. Honestly, with what you are telling me now, I am not comfortable with your coronation going on without settling things with her. You have to try. Mama, it's okay. I will... I will try and sort out things with her. I've heard what you said. What a sympathetic story. Well, like I said, you don't have to kill yourself or lose hope. Okay? The only time you lose hope is when you stop breathing. For the meantime, I have to discharge you. You'll be coming from home to take your treatment. I don't have anywhere to go. I don't have a home. But you told me you rented an apartment for the both of you. So what happened to the apartment? I don't want to go back there. I don't want to. It's okay. Stop crying. Okay? What if I give you an apartment? Would you love to stay there? Yes, Doctor. Anything. I don't mind. Okay. Let me see what I can do then. Hello? Inkechi? Come to my office right now. Don't worry, you'll be fine, okay? Stop crying. Thank you, doctor. Stop crying, okay? All is fine. Sir? Yeah, I sent for you. Um, this young lady here will be staying with you at the nurse quarters. Okay, sir. I want you to look after her and make sure she take her proper medication. Did I make myself clear? Yes, doctor. All right, you can go back to your post. I will send for you when I need you. Okay, doctor. Thank you so much, doctor. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. It's okay, okay? Like I said, you don't have to kill yourself. Um, what if I send you to a nursing school? 
or better still, you do a training in this hospital. At least it can help you, maybe after your school or your training, it can help you get a good job or travel abroad. Doctor, do you mean what you just said? Yes. What? How much is it going to cost me? Don't worry about that, okay? I will take care of everything. Doctor! Yes, I will take care of everything. Doctor, thank you. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. So you kind. Know thank, you. thank you. I'm so grateful. Thank it's you. Okay. God bless you, doctor. It's okay. I'm blessed already, okay? As a matter of fact, my name is Dr. Blessing. Uh, hold on a minute. It's not much, but just get whatever you want with it. Go to the market, you get whatever you want. It will go a long way for you. Don't do this for me. It's nothing. It's nothing. Stop Look, crying. It's so much. It's so much. It's nothing. It's nothing. Thank you. You will never lack anything in this life. Um, I don't know how to thank you for Dr. God. We surely bless you. For helping me this way. You've done so much for me. God bless you, Doctor. Nice. Thank you. Thank nice. you so much. I'm not sure yet. Um, I think I did the lab around with that, so I'll be able to. Okay, so what are you? What are you going to do? Are we, are, we, are we just going to sit and wait for the lab results to be out? Can you do something to make him at least open his eyes and you know talk, sit up? Well, for now, I can't tell. I think I should wait for the lab result. Are we sure he's going to be fine? Yes, he'll be fine. What we're giving him, I will sustain him there. Excuse me. Okay. I'll be waiting. Um, yes, Dad. No, 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 nothing has happened. Nothing changed. We're just here. He's still in the same state I brought him in. I don't even know. I don't know what the matter is. I don't know. No, no, no. No one has said anything yet. Um, we we ran a couple of tests and um, they said it's going to take a couple of hours for the test to be out. So I don't even have an idea of what is wrong. No, he's not talking. Okay. Okay, Dad. Um, so as soon as the test result is out, I, I'll, I'll just call you and um, tell you if I find out anything. Okay, Daddy. All right. Why didn't you eat your food? What is the problem with you? 
For how long will you continue this? See, you are causing yourself a very big problem. The guy you are thinking of is somewhere enjoying his life with another woman. And you are here crying. See, Neka, if you do not stop this, I will tell the doctor. I will go and tell the doctor. I know what to do. Please don't stop. You tell the doctor. Please. I will tell the doctor. If you don't want if you don't want me to tell the doctor, then come and eat your food. Yeah? I will eat. I will eat. Oh, that food is too much. It's not too much. Taste a little or enough quantity so that I can be able to take your trucks. Yeah? I understand. I understand, okay? I was just coming to your office. Yes, I did, Linda. You know, it's been two weeks since you brought this man to this hospital. Mm. I need your husband to be. Yes. And um, for all medication we have given so far, it's not making any improvement. <gasps> and uh, even from the test result, we didn't find anything. So. I'm thinking it's what's happening to him and his spiritual. And I would suggest you take him to his people before something terrible happens to him. Otherwise, you'll be blamed. Um, doctor, are you saying there's nothing medically you can do to help improve his condition? But, but would you give me your words? What changed? You said he was going to be okay. Uh, well, Linda, right? I know I did. But uh, I'm a family doctor. I know. And I can deceive you. For all I've tried so far, I can tell you it's not getting better. You and I know that already. So I will just suggest you take it to his people. Doctor. And if you agree with me, yeah. I would like to discharge him today. Please. Oh? So just think about that. Let me know. I'll, I'll just go to the party. Young lady, you mean you woke up one morning and found our prince in commandments? Yes, sir. Um, immediately it happened. I um, rushed him to the hospital. Upon getting there, he wasn't um, responsive to treatment. We were there for about two weeks. Nothing happened. And um, the doctors suggested that I bring him back home, saying it's more spiritual than medical. Huh? Yeah, they asked us to seek um, spiritual help, so they, they, they discharged us and I had to bring him home. He, he's been like this. Hey! Hey! I am finished. Oh, oh no. Oh no, please, you people have to do something. <laughs> eh? my, my, my enemies at me. Uh, they want to kill my son. Uh, 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 so calm down. Eh? Lolo, calm down. We must do something. Eh? The, the, the problem is that his coronation is just in three days and all of this are happening to him. Eh? But nevertheless, I know that the uh, AZ Dibia must demystify. No need for that. The AZ Dibia cannot do anything. Chief Priest, what do you mean by that? Prince I here know what to do. To free himself. Chief Priest, what do you mean by this? The gods of the land came to me last night and they told me that Prince Gauzier here made a royal proclamation to someone who suffered for him. Unless he does the needful, failing to do that, he will join his ancestors. I mean, oh, what proclamation? That? What's that about? Gozi, what did you do? Did you do? Did you do something? What are we going to do then? What, what, what's that all about? Chief Priest, what can he do? He can barely say a word. Don't worry, he will talk. He yeah. searched for her everywhere, but she's nowhere to be found. Um, <clears throat> that was a, a very bad one. 
uh, at least coming from someone who did everything for you, who helped you all the way. Eh? I, I condemn it totally. Even the gods of the land condemns it. Eh? But ne nevertheless, I should not have a good job. Of course, uh, can you tell us how to find her? The, uh, I know the village, but I've not been there. Uh, neither the parents. I, I, I've not seen them. What about the family's name? Well, yes, I know. I know the. You know very well, then. We will find her. When we get there, we will know her whereabouts. Even if she's not there, the parents must tell us how to get about. You know, finding her. Eh? It's not a problem. Yes, it's not a problem. Uh, oh, Lolo, you can't have run so, so So what about me? I mean, why is no one talking about me? What about me? What happens to me? Will you shut up? You are the cause of this. Yeah. You think money is everything. What you did with him in the past should remain in the past. I don't bring that into the present and cause more havoc. What? Excuse me? What do you mean by what? Please. Because, uh, hmm? You heard him, right? Yes. What have you got to say? Imagine this. He is my uncle. And so what about it? What have you got to say? I mean, what are you saying? You heard all the things he said. Will you shut up? That's just the way he sounds. Oh, oh so you mean you, you suddenly do not even have the guts to open you, you to open your mouth and speak in, in my defense? No, sometimes he sounds like a this. Oh, you think money is everything? Fine. I mean, that's fine. It's, it's, it's okay. I understand. I do. It's fine. I'm going to say that. 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 i am going to say that i am going to say that i am can't you see? He is under her chauvinism. You're crying. When you and your father started this selfish journey, I warned you, didn't I? I told you you were going to regret this, but you wouldn't listen. Now, after disgracing yourself and bringing shame to the family, you sit here to cry? You have not started what? crying. Chief, you contributed to this. When I begged you to talk senses into your daughter, you refused, saying you want her happiness. Now she's in bitterness. And I hope both of you can rest now. Why don't you unblock Johnson and call him? I'll be glad to take a call. Stop crying. Stop crying. Don't mind your Stop crying. I will handle the situation. Stop crying. That's not what I know what to do. Johnson, please pick up, pick up. Please pick up. Uh, hello? Um, Johnson, yes, I, I heard you're in the country. Yeah, please, can I, can I, can I see you? I'll tell you when I see you, please. Please. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Ooh. Ooh.
Nanyo. Let me ask you. What kind of a man are you? Eh? What kind of a father are you, Nanyo? What, what is wrong with you? Is something wrong with your head? Hmm. What kind of talk is that? There is something wrong with my head. And my head will never be okay if you don't do something about our daughter's disappearance. Eh, Nanyo? The other time I told you what inspired when I called her on the phone. You have not even showed any concern. You are here drinking hot drink. Eh, Nanyo? You have not even made a move to go and look for our daughter. Or better still, go and report her to the police station. Let me ask you. If I go to the police, what will I tell them? You tell them that our daughter is missing. Did the neck tell you that she's missing? Huh? Nanyo? Can you hear yourself talk? At times I feel you talk rubbish from this your mouth. Eh? Instead of it to go out there and look for our daughter, you are here asking me stupid questions. Wait. Are you by any means insulting me? Oh. Nine. You've not heard insult, oh. You will continue to hear this insult until you go out there and go and look for my daughter. Uh, greetings, everyone. Uh, greetings, Dalokano. Uh, please, I, I don't know if we are on the right uh, track. We are looking for Ichie Ibeko's compound. I'm a chaybuku. What can I do for you? Uh, all right. Um, my name is Festus Onyebure. I am the Onowu of Aloma Kingdom. Here is the Crown Prince, Prince Guzir, the Prince of Aloma Kingdom. We are simply here because of your daughter, Nega. Yes. Did you say Prince Guzir? No, he is. Me too. You mean Prince Gozi of Aloma Kingdom? I'm standing yes, before sir. you. Uh, were you not the one that our daughter has been spending the money with sending her to school to sponsor your own education? You also promised her marriage, but you turned her down. Yes, I'm the one, and that's why I'm here. Yes, uh, you know, uh, hey, Nine, he's the one. I, where, I, where is I, my daughter? I am, I, I, I am no, the, no. That's why I'm here. Nine, I am not going to leave him. I, I, Provide my daughter for me. Madam, calm down your nerves. Let him be. The reason we are here is to sort things out. We are here because of your daughter, Nega. Let him be. Let go of his shirt. There is nothing to calm down except I see my daughter. Oh, oh no! Oh, yes. This is so called prince. Have the ghost to useless my daughter. Now, what are you doing here? Uh, 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 it's here. You know, after we ascertained of what transpired between our prince, Prince Gose, and your daughter. Um, we condemned it. Even the gods of our land did so. And then what did we do? We had to rally around him to ascertain your daughter's whereabouts. So she could take her place as a future queen of our Loma kingdom. That's why we are here. We want her to come with us. The truth of the matter is that for some months now my daughter left this house. Out of shame and humiliation, this your so called prince put her through. Nay, tell them. And we don't know her whereabouts. Whether she's alive or dead, we don't know. It's a big way. You, you, you shouldn't speak about your daughter to be dead. I, I personally do not believe that she's dead. Please, do not relate this issue towards uh, death. I beg of you. Hello. Yes. Let me believe you that my daughter is fine. Thank you. But for the respect I have for you and royalty. Thank you. That is why I will let this young man leave my compound. Oh, I appreciate this it. is my compound. I can do and undo here. Now I'm giving Prince Gozi seven days. Seven days to bring my daughter back to this house. And if I don't see my daughter in seven days, your kingdom and him we we'll all be in court. Nay, um, are you allowing him to live here without providing my daughter for me? Let him go. Eh? Ha, Nay. Let him go. He mentioned the gods of the land. Uh, uh, thank you. Let him. Let them go. Nay. Seven days. Let them go. No, Nay. Leave my daughter. He's not living here without producing let, my daughter for me. No, I, I, eh? I let, let them go. Seven days. Uh, I, I, I have had seven days. Nay, they are going to let them go. Seven days. Oh. 
I am not comfortable. You, you heard what the man said. Yeah. I smell fish. What do you intend to do? Uh, let me get back to the city. That's the only place I can find her. To the city? Yes. How do you intend to find her in the city? The city is so large. It, it will take weeks to do. And you remember the man just said seven days. That's yes. a week. Anyway, I don't know, but let me get to the city first. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, I wish you were. But the spirit of our late king, your father, be with you. So let's go. Let's go. So you have the guts to take my daughter to your village to be humiliated and insulted by your daughter. Is that so? Sorry, Chief. <laughs> well, I forgive you. Because I heard you were sick when all these things were happening. But now, what do you have for my daughter? Sir, so please, I'm sorry, I cannot accept that. If I do, if I accept to marry her, I will die and the whole of my kingdom will be in trouble. I see. Please. I see. Linda. Stop. You had your sweetheart. Sweetheart, I'm sorry. What do you have to say? It's okay. I mean, it's it's fine. It's perfect. Oh. Yeah. Sweetheart, thank you so much. Yeah. You cannot eat your cake and have it. So, he loses everything, Dad. What? Yeah. You had my daughter. Henceforth, you cease to be a staff of my company. Forget your office and leave your house. Linda. Yes, Dad. Collect the company's car key from him and take some security men to his house to monitor him for him to take his personal belongings. Yes, Dad. You had me. Yes, Dad. Hey, really, really, you look good, one. If you leave me, the thunder will fire you. The thunder will fire you. One, let's go. You look good, I said in my office. Are you coming or not? Let's go. Where is the car key? Meanwhile, let me have it. Please. Let's go. Um, Nai, today is making it the sixth day. Those people left this compound. After giving them seven days to go and look for our daughter. Up till now, we've not heard from them. Why not send for your kinsmen so that you can tell them what happened? So they will go and meet them. Eh? Why are you women always in a hurry? I gave them seven days. Today is the sixth day. It's after tomorrow, after the seventh day. Then I will know the action to take. Relax. Now, now I don't understand. How can you be saying this about your only daughter? Eh? I can relax, so. Woman, please. Allow me to think. Wait until tomorrow. When the seven days come and go. Then I will know what to do. Don't force me. Relax. I don't know why you be, should be saying such a thing eh, about your daughter. Eh? You need to do something. No? Hey. Who is this? Son? Who is this? Onyakwa. N9. Mama. Hi. Hi. I'm going to just say one more. Hey! 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 You never told us that you were coming now. I just wanted to surprise you guys. That was a very pleasant one. 
Johnson and Wom. Papa, you're looking good, though. Thank hey, you very much. Look at Papa. Oh. <laughs> it is more so, the dollars you are sending to me now. What am I <laughs> Why am I working if not to send you dollars? And he's not giving me the shell. Mama, can you say that? They're showing all over you now. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, where, where is it next, my sister? Uh, 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 just in my son, you are just arriving there. Nick, uh, I'm fine, don't bother yourself. She's oh, she's fine. Yeah, yeah she's okay. She's Alright, yeah, Mama, someone should help me get something from the booth. I brought some things. Ah, booth or you know? Hey, Papa. Mama, come Come Papa, Mama. So, my son. The both of you want to tell me that since Inneka left this house, she has not returned. My son. We have not seen her. By the so-called prince and I know that came to this place, I gave them seven days. And that seven days will expire tomorrow. Up till now, I have not heard from them and I have not seen your sister. My son, and your father is not doing anything serious about this issue. I told him the last time when those people were here. I was holding that boy down not to leave until he provides my daughter. Yes. But your father here allowed them to go after giving them seven days. Up till now, I have not seen my daughter. Okui uh, Fugue. Wait, wait, wait. That, that holding them, you you would have fought them or what? What, what, were, what would you achieve? Uh, anyway, Papa, I will be going to Potako the day after tomorrow to supervise the new company I just bought. Yes. Once I'm back from my travel, I would go and look for Inneka myself. All right? I need the both of you to calm down. Uh, it's okay, my son. But tomorrow is the last day. Eh? What if they don't provide my daughter for me? Mama, eh? calm down. I said as soon as I'm back from Potakot, I'll go and look for Nneka myself. Uh, it's okay. Please. Uh, my son, if you say so, there's no problem. Sure. I will handle it. Just take it easy. You are not my here, my America. Yeah, my show. The corrupt marker. I am not happy here. Nneka will be fine. the last of Johnson. Huh? Is that you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nika, this is you. How are you? But I'm not fine. I've really suffered for that. Look, Neka, it's okay. My mom and papa has told me everything already. Did let me did? yeah, let me quickly buy what I want to buy, then we can hurry to the village, okay? Yeah. Brother, I, there is this place I'm staying. There was this very good doctor that helped me. He gave me an accommodation. Brother, I would want you to see him, please. Okay, if okay. I follow you to the village. All right, we will see him. But well, let me just buy what I came to buy. Then we can go and see him, then go to the village. All right? Okay, Come here. Prince Gozi, we were given seven days to look for Nega and bring her to her position as the future queen. Seven days <sighs> has come and gone. And you know, the throne of a Loma kingdom cannot continue to lie fallow without a king. You know, there is no time left. What next are you planning to do? As regard to this? Oh no. Honestly, I don't know what next to do. I've searched for Nega everywhere. And she's nowhere to be found. I'm more of a meme. Can I suggest something? As it pleases you. Since my son have tried severally to get this game. But she's nowhere to be found. Can we look for alternative, at least, to crown my son? I mean, can we look for another woman 
even if it's from this village. My queen, it is only the chief priest that has the power to decide on this. However, we will summon the chief priest, you know, to decide on what to do. Please, you people should do that fast. I am tired of all this. Be good. I'm tired. So I am. I'm tired too. I'm tired. The only thing. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming. Me, I've missed you. I've been searching for you all this while. Hey, please come in, come in. Tao, no, 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 this is Zeneca and, and, and the father. Guards! No. Guards! No. Oh, no, we are grateful. The Crown Prince of Anema Kingdom, Prince Gose, I greet you. You're welcome, sir. Uh, oh, no. Everything you told me in my house when you came. I explained to my kinsmen and they said they have forgiven Prince Gozia that if there is no sin, there will be no forgiveness. So we are here to discuss the way forward. <coughs> it's over, bro. I must say that I am happy. You are a man. The gods of this land will continue to bless you. He said... Uh, uh, thank you so much. I really appreciate this. Dalo, oh. If one woman cannot talk on a big... He said... Thank you. Ichi, I just want to say thank you once again for what you've done for me and to this kingdom. May the gods of our land bless you and your family. See, see. <clears throat> um, I want to thank everyone here for this reunion. And to my in-law to be Prince Gozie Udonka. I heard your boss fired you because you ended your marriage with his daughter. Obu Well, it's okay. But it's, it's fine. It's okay. Um, well, um, there's this company I bought in Patakot that produces beef veggies. That is why I came back from abroad. I would like to make you the MD of the company. Hmm? Or rather, ask you to be the MD of the company. Hey! Brother? Yes. Brother, are you serious? Uh, so that way you can employ who you want to work for you and you know, direct them on how you want them to work for you. Hey! God. Oh God, 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 thank you, 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 Every cost I will handle. I <laughs> will <laughs> for this man no name. Oh. Eh? I like you can give. Hey. I like I'm this man. Well, oh. Hey. Well, that's not all. That's not all. Let me land. Hey. Well, um, my prince, you know your visitors will not come to this place looking like this. So I will, you know, order some contractors to come, bring down this place and. Um, 
build you a defeating duplex for your status. Hey. wonderful day. Yes. Yesterday's coronation was powerful. Yes. With your support, with your help. So I just want to thank you all for all you did yesterday. It wasn't easy. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. Oh no. Yes. I owe you one. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, I'm a <laughs> mother. <laughs> <laughs> Ono! Yes. Uh, <laughs> um, ono! Oh, yes. My mother. Oh, my baby. Yes. <laughs> my beautiful daughter. She <laughs> just looks so charming. Oh, yes. Well. <laughs> like her mother. <laughs> it's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. Baba, you woke up. Oh, my son. Oh, And what are you doing here? Linda. What are you doing in my house? What's the problem? Who is she to you? What? This is my fiancé, the one I want to marry. And who is this girl to you? That's my sister. What's going on? Your sister? Yes. What? Get out of this place! I don't want to see you here! Naka, naka, come but I tell her to get out. Can someone tell me what's going on? What's going on? This lady. This lady almost ruined my life. I did nothing to you. I did nothing wrong. You did! I did nothing! You did, brother. She's the lady that took Gauthier away from me. She took Gauthier away from me. She treated me like trash. But you have him now, anyways. You have him to yourself. You want to marry your brother too? You trying to marry him? Yes! Also, now you want to have my brother? Look. No, you want to have my brother? King. Over my oh, dead body. I need you Over my dead body, hear me? Just, the king just is with you. Brother, she is a down. devil. What are you doing with her? Please, I need you to come down. She's evil. Bring her to me alone. The king was to see you. Just relax. I am calm. Then stay calm. Don't even tell me about her. How come I'm just finding out she's a sister? How come? I don't even know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. The king wants to talk to Oof. you. But not you. I didn't plan for all this drama. Look, I need you to come down. Can you just come down? I'm down. The king is waiting. Up to you. The king is calling. He's up to you. Please. How are you? I'm fine, my king. How are you? <laughs> what are you trying to do? It's okay. My You're trying to shake her? It's okay. Calm down. Okay. How are you, my friend? Fine, thank you. You're welcome. To err is human. To forgive is divine. <laughs> we just have to learn to forgive each other. We all make mistakes. It can happen to anyone. So I want you to take whatever that happened out of your heart that was in the past. Okay? She was never a bad person. She's she just was. 
Come on. I wasn't. I'm not a bad person. It's, I'm a good person. It's evil. Yes. And you okay. know it. It's okay. evil. Okay. I said maybe okay. she has changed. It's, it's okay. Yeah. Baby, it's okay. She has changed. Please. She, she's just... Pretender. She's it's just not stubborn. A person. Okay. But I believe she's a changed person now. I want us all to live in peace and harmony. That is what matters now. My love. At least you have me, don't you? Good. I love that smile. I am going to do something now. I want you to do the same. Okay? Mm. Promise me. <laughs> Lee. Honey, <laughs> what are you doing? Just watch me. Always be by your side 